Welcome, viewers, to another episode of Let's Play WoW with me, Bezanir, and this rogue, McGroovy. <laughs> it's time for another fancy, fun adventure on the high seas, or uh, some kind of juice. We're to have an adventure with juice, like high sea, Kool-Aid. Whatever kind of juice you like, man. You could have whatever you want. Or whatever you like. Any kind of juice that you want. Cause I'm generous like that. I guess I could pick these guys' pockets and stuff, huh? Just occurred to me. Dang, dog. I am picking the pockets. Don't have much other use for them. No, it's just roguing it up. I like the way you work it. Rogue it up. I thought there was one of them right there because he was like, Oh, look at me. I'm doing a thing and you're not going to be able to stop me. No, it's, it was like me, but I spazzed out, you know? You freaking spaz. Oh, shit. I'm barely paying attention. Whoa, what's this? What is this? Really? Trying to get used to the whole thing of doing things. Doing things. Putting yourself out there. Uh, wrapping yourself up in a giant pastrami sandwich. And people are like, what are you doing? That seems kind of weird. You're like, people are mocking me and now I just want to disappear. Thought it'd be pretty cool to be in a giant sandwich. So now people are making me question my decisions. And I don't feel like living. Suddenly I've got so many misgivings. Why does this thing say that I'm in combat? Because of this healing stream totem. I, I can't really say that. Uh, I don't think I've ever... I started reading a, an Anne Rice book once. And it was like... It wasn't bad, but it was just so long. And I was like, eh. I think I got like 300 pages into this like thousand page book. And I was like, eh. I was just like, man. It's not like the writing is bad. It's just kind of overwrought, I guess. Because you're not invested. No, it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all, but you know what it reminds me of? It's gonna be kind of fucked up, but it reminded me of Tolstoy. And if you've ever, if you've ever read War and Peace, then you'll understand, <laughs> just like me. Not, you know, not to brag, I'm just saying that I read War and Peace. You know, because not everybody has. It's long books, kind of hard to get through. So, I just wanted to point out that I've read War and Peace. Don't know if you have, because I don't know if you're as cool as me. Alright, here's a guy. Chief Esquival. Esquivel. It sounds Spanish. Ask me about my bell. My sphincter is tight as a bell. Ooh. Killing kobolds or goblins. They're not kobolds. Come on, man. Did you brush up on your World of Warcraft lore there? No. Oh. oh, I got a new pair of heirlooms. I got shoulders. So. I started playing with my Demon Hunter too, And I, I got about a thousand gold on my Demon Hunter. So I could get a couple more heirlooms. But the Demon Hunter should help me to get, uh... Oh. The Demon Hunter should help me to... Be able to upgrade my heirlooms when I... Get higher in level. Jeez. This could be a close one. Woo! Man, four guys at once. Definitely not built for that, but... I am. I st <laughs> Are you kidding me? I didn't get a single tumbled crystal from that. Uh, gotta kill some Shadow Maw Panthers now. Shadow Maw. Stop saying my name. I got my regular mom, and then I got my Shadow Mom. 
She bears me into shadows. I like having two moms. Some people got two dads, I got two moms. I also got a dad, but so pretty much everybody does. Hey, you chuck, you freaking chuck. That's one of the Shadow Mom Panthers. Shadow Mom Panthers, guys gonna make it all freaking hot to ambush you because you're like, oh no, I do the ambushing. Shut up, you chuck. Shut up, you chuck. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes a talker. Where you at, son? Damn, well, you got one shot. Bam, son. What you doing? You got fucked up. You got fucked up. Big time. Big time. Let me tell you. Alright. Boom, I made a level. Boom, I made a level. Boom, I made a level. Boom, I made a level, guys. I'm really impressed with myself. I'm undressed, I'm unwell. Some cheese on my chest. I'm really impressed with myself. I'm unwell. Some cheese on my chest, and I'm best. Anybody who tries to stop me, you can't stop me with this fromage game. People say I'm lame, but you just don't understand all the stuff that's in my brain. Yeah, it's a rather large area that it gives for this bag thurah. Can't be up and over here. Up and over here. Up and over here. Put it in your ear. What the heck, man? Oh, there he is. It's the most obvious one. Not even stealth like his freaking minions. Alright. Gotta say that. That DOT is pretty good for a. You know. A big guy. So you think you're a big guy? Well, let me put you to the test. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting some weird vibes over here from the things that you're saying. Kinda freaking tough. Do, 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 do. So since I only need one Elder Crocolis skin, this is obviously going to be a total pain in the ass drop rate. Right? Obviously. Nothing worse than a quest that only wants you to, to you know, where you only need to get one thing. Because it's inevitably going to take you 300 guys. And if you're, if you're questing with someone else, they're going to get it on the first thing. And they're going to be like, come on, I want to go. And you're going to be like, wait, I didn't get my skin yet. And they're like, don't hit them so hard. You keep puncturing their skin when you hit them. You're like, I'm trying not to hit them too hard, but every time I kill them, they just ain't got no skin. Kind of creeped out, actually, if I'm honest. Like, I just touched this crocolisk that ain't have no skin. And he smile at me. I'm creeped the heck out. They're gonna die. They don't like being reminded of that. Secondly, when you're saying, oh, I can't wait for the rapture, you're saying, I can't wait for you to die. And by the way, you're also gonna go to hell, but I'm not. Gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss everybody. I'm gonna miss everybody. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, hey, man, it's kind of rude, you know? And they don't have any cultural sensitivity because automatically, hey, if it's the end of the world, that makes it more important than anything, right? So, why, you know, why be considerate to other people's beliefs, right? Because they're just wrong. It's their own, you know what I mean? That's the imperative that's built in. So it's like, oh, well, my, my understanding of the end of the world overrides any need to be culturally sensitive because, you know, this is a. This is an area, of whatever. I don't know if this there is a quest for this or what. All right, I'll just try to minimize the number of guys I run through. Look, it's not polite to chew with your mouth open. All right. Ugh, jeez. Get out of my face. I'm tired of you. Coming around, being like, "Hey, look at me." I'm like, "Shut up, you fucking stupid." Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to cuss. Whoops, whoops. Oh, I cussed 
list. I'm gonna have to put a I'm gonna have to put a warning before this video. It says, oh, watch out, cussing. Be careful. Be careful, this video contains cussing. You guys are gonna be offended. You guys are gonna be shocked. You won't even believe it. You won't even believe it, man. This guy cussed in his video. Alright, so what do I need here? Blood Scout Totem. From Blood Scout Shaman. Alright, then. So that appears to be what I need then. Got it. Now. Oh, here we go. Here we go now. Oh, apparently there was one. Oh, I didn't do the water elemental brace. Whatever. I'm probably going to move on at this point because I've got plenty of freaking stuff anyway. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? This guy over here. What do you want here? Okay. Let's go this way. Should make level 30. Which I'll, I'll be able to get uh, an ability that'll make me faster when I'm in stealth. That'll be cool. That'll be very useful for my series. So, that means I can do highlight videos, I can do LPs with some editing. Which means they won't be so boring, hopefully. So uh, we'll definitely go up in level here. Boom! Level 30! Level 30! I can get this, move 20% faster. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay. Alright. Great. So, there we go. We're level 30 and we're halfway to level 31. Boom. Okay. Now, I am revered with Stormwind. Great. So I guess I'm going to call that a video. So this is Bezlanir signing out of another episode of Let's Play WoW with this rogue Megrumi. And I will see you next time, viewers. So until then, take care of yourselves.